What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all should know what to do. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. Um, and if you could, also comment down below. I want to chop it up with y'all, and I want to talk boxing with y'all, but I can't do it unless you leave a comment. So be sure to comment down below and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we drop our daily content. Last thing, um, email address. If you want to have me hop on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email, bro. But without further ado, let's get it popping. Let's get into today's video. And today, we got to talk about the WBA and Manny Pacquiao, man. Your boy was proved wrong, man. I was proved wrong, so Manny Pacquiao ain't getting his super belt back. He ain't getting his super belt back, man. They voted on it. They said, hell no, nah, you ain't getting your belt back. So let's talk about it. Before I do, though, live show Wednesday, July 14th, bro. You got knocked the F out, episode two. We are interviewing Kasir Goldston, bro, the young phenom. Signed the top rank. Highly decorated amateur boxer, bro. He's coming on the show for the first half hour of the show. We are going to do an interview, the first interview on this channel. So y'all be sure to come through, show some love, man, show some support. He and hop on the bandwagon now, cause he he good, bro. He good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all come hop on the bandwagon. Come check him out. But um, let's go, bro. Let's let's talk about this. So the WBA ain't giving a belt right back to to Manny Pacquiao, and so. When I'm wrong about shit, bro, number one, I got to admit that I'm wrong. That's part of being a man. That's part of, of doing this shit and hopping out on the limb. You get shit wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to lie to y'all. At first, I didn't understand. Like, bro, y'all missing out on $500,000. Why would you do that? And so when I want to figure out why, I start researching, start thinking about, you know, who benefits from a decision, who doesn't benefit from a decision. And let me give y'all what I came up with, man. I could be right, I could be wrong. This is all hypotheticals, all opinions, you know. But I believe that the WBA made this decision because I believe one thing, like the promoters and the sanctioning bodies, bro, they ain't lockstep. You got the WBO with um, you got the WBO with Bob Arum in top rank, and you got the WBA with the PBC, bro. It just is what it is. You go look down the list of champions. You go look down the list of people that's always getting shots. That's always in a um, position to be able to, you know, challenge for titles in these sanctioning bodies, bro. The vast majority of the people that get the challenge for the WBA are PBC fighters. The vast majority of the people that get the challenge for the WBO are top rank fighters, bro. It just is what it is, bro. And this move, the more I think about it, it benefits the PBC so much, bro. It benefits them so much because if this fight, if Manny Pacquiao had gotten his belt back, then, and let's say Earl Spence won, he would have nowhere to go but Terrence Crawford, which is what Earl Spence wants. He wants to be undisputed. But Al Heyman, he does want Earl Spence to be undisputed. He wants his fighter, the best interest of his fighter. But he also wants what's in the best interest of his company. And what's in the best interest is to continue to put on big fights, bro. In-house big fights. So this is, an op this is a chance where the business of boxing gets in the way of the actual boxing and gets in the way of what the fans want. It's been rumored and reported that Terrence Crawford has re-signed with Top Rank. I don't know if it's true or not, but decisions and, and stuff like this, I believe it's all tied together, bro. Because he's supposed, supposedly fighting Zapata in October. If he beats Zapata, you know what I'm saying, and he's re-signed to Top Rank, that's another thing that, um, that's another entity that PBC would have to do business with to make that fight. I believe Al Heyman has reacted to that news, and he's like, look, man, look, we got options over here. And that's why they putting Ugas on. Like, it's all making sense. That's why Ugas going to be the co-main event. Earl Spence is about to fight Manny Pacquiao, continue to get his name big. He's about to fight Ugas after this, continue to get his name big, get his strap, assuming that Ugas wins, whoever he's fighting. And then probably try to go over and make a fight with Terrence Crawford because it looks like, bro, it looks like Terrence Crawford, you know, in top rank, they in lockstep. And they are determined to try to milk this thing, you know, 50-50, 60-40. And so this is all leveraged by Al Heyman, bro. It's all leveraged by him. It's all him trying to, you know, make power moves, bro. 
And the more belts with different fighters that you have under your umbrella, the bigger fights that you can make in-house, the more money that you can make in-house. And the WBA is all for that and all with that because he's the one that basically keeps the light on for him. You know what I'm saying? He can go to him like, look, man, I know y'all can make, you know, $500,000 on this. You give Manny Pacquiao his belt back. I know you could, but look, we got this other fighter over here that we was trying to sign because they were trying to sign Terrence Crawford. And I believe they like, ah, oh, man, we ain't get Terrence Crawford. All right, cool. We're going to keep making big fights here. So what we need you to do, WBA, go ahead and let Ugas keep his belt. Because Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence, like, it's a big fight anyway. That shit going to sell us the biggest fight in boxing. And it's going to do great pay-per-view numbers. Then, after that, assuming Earl Spence wins, we're going to make Ugas. Because now Earl Spence is a bigger star. Ugas, he done... He done you know, brighten his star a little bit by being on the co-main event, having them eyes on them. People going to know who both of these fighters are. We're going to make another big pay-per-view fight. And continue to brighten Earl Spence's star. Assuming Earl Spence can win that fight. Then, after that, we're going to come, we'll, we'll possibly come to the table. And if top rank is acting right at that, at that point, then maybe we'll make a fight with, with Terrence Crawford. But that's, that's what this is all boils down to, bro. Nobody wants to give an inch. Nobody wants to lose in negotiations. And as a result, the fans don't get what we want, bro. And I don't like this decision by the WBA, number one, because I want to see the Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence fight bad, bro. Probably more than any fight I want to see in boxing right now. The only one that's close is maybe like Javante Davis and, and Josh Taylor or Javante Davis and, and Devin Haney or Javante Davis and Teofimo Lopez. Those four fights right there... I want to see bad. and Oh, and at the top of that list, before Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, I want to see that one. So this is, you know, Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence is at the top of my list of fights I want to see. And so business like this and, and, and moves and shit like this, it just, it puts another fight in the way, bro. It puts another fight in the way. Like, and I, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit one bit because now... You know, we got to continue to have this conversation of who's ducking who, who's doing this, who's doing that. Like, I don't, I don't like that. And before we, before we even go into that, let's talk about Earl Spence. Because, see, I should have been paying attention to more of what he was saying. See, he made a tweet that when I get this third strap, we going to see who holding up what. Then he did an interview with Barbershop Conversation where they told him, yo, um, Manny getting his belt back and you going for Terrence Crawford after that? He said, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know Manny was getting his belt back. But, yeah, if that's the case, as y'all say he getting his belt back, if that's the case, once I beat him, I'm going to go over there and see what's up with them. If they ain't talking about nothing, then I'm moving up. So he didn't even know. And you would think he would know. I thought he was playing court, but seems like he really didn't know. And so Earl Spence, bro, he's going to keep – he's going to stick to his plan – like, he ain't going to deviate. I'm just letting y'all know that. Do I, do I want him to at this point, bro? I want him to just go fight Terrence Crawford. I want him to just go fight Terrence Crawford after Manny Pacquiao. But it, it, it's probably not going to happen, bro. What's going to happen is he's going to fight Manny Pacquiao. If he can beat Manny Pacquiao, then he's going to go fight the winner of Ugas' fight, whoever Ugas is fighting, bro. And they'll probably fight at the end of the year or early next year. So I hate to break it to y'all, bro, but the earliest that we'll get a Terrence Crawford Earl Spence fight will probably be next summer sometime if we get it at all at this point. If we get it at all at this point, bro, these it's the promoters and the sanctioning bodies, man, that's messing that's messing up, you know, what the fans want right now with this shit, bro. They just are. They just are. No one wants to give an inch. No one wants to do what's in the best interest of boxing. Everybody wants to do what's in the best interest of of their company, bro, and of their stable, you know what I mean, and that's and that's just that's a sad day in boxing. But your boy was wrong. Money didn't talk in this situation, or it did talk. Long term money and relationships talk. Because at the end of the day, WBA want to continue to be on good terms with PVC. They just do. It's just good business. It's better business than getting a one time money grab. Because at the end of the day, man, PBC keep the lights on. They got all them. They pay all. Man, how many of their fighters pay sanctioning fees, bro? How many of their fighters pay sanctioning fees? They got a lot of fighters, bro. They got, like, the best stable in boxing right now, bro. They just do it. All the glamour divisions, bro. They got a heavyweight. They got heavyweights that are that are at the top of the game. They got they got welterweights. They got middleweights. They got, they got super middleweights, bro. They got the cash cow from 130 to 140, bro. They have... So many bargaining chips and bargaining tools and chess pieces and shit to where 
If you the WBA, bro, you you want to listen to them. You 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 gonna do what what's in their best interest, and it it sucks for guys like like Terrence Crawford. You know, it sucks for for, for him because he gonna be waiting again. He gonna be waiting again. But then again, I can't really say it sucks for him because, bro, like you gotta go where the smoke is at. So I ain't even, I'm gonna take that back. In the middle of this video, I ain't saying it sucked for him. It sucked for the fans, bro. Because I want to see him and Earl Spence, you know, in a position where they have nowhere to go but each other. But they promoters don't want to see that. They, um, you know, they, they, it's just it's just bad, bro. This is a bad decision by the WBA, in my opinion. Um, and the reason I say that is because, like, what's the point of having the champion in recess? What does champion in recess do if not for situations like this? You know what I mean? Champion in recess means you couldn't fight for unforeseen circumstances, right? Pacquiao couldn't fight because of the pandemic. Champion in recess means if you come back and you're taking on a worthy opponent, then you can get your belt back. Errol Spence is a beyond worthy opponent. So I don't understand the decision other than someone, other than someone led them to make that decision. And the only person that can lead them to make a decision like that where they would pass up on $500,000 is Al Heyman in the PBC, bro. Those are just facts. Those are just facts. And you can blame Manny, too. You know what I mean? I could blame him, too, because you came back and you didn't let people know what you was doing, bro. You could have been made this Earl Spence fight if we just keeping it a buck. Earl Spence been wanting to fight you. The fight been easy to be made, but you was trying to find a little, a little way to make some good change. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and take on not as a competitive as a fight. But then you finally bossed up and finally worried up and, and saw that Earl Spence is probably the biggest fight that you can make where you can make the most money. And then you tried to petition for your belt back. You wouldn't even have to petition for your belt back. If when you announced she was coming back, you immediately tried to make the Earl Spence fight. Instead of trying to fight fucking Conor McGregor or, or um, Ryan Garcia or some shit, bro. This shit would have never happened to you if you Manny Pacquiao. So he, had, he showed us some of the blame too, bro. He showed us some of the blame too. You know what I'm saying? So we can we can look at him. And I like Manny, bro. Y'all know I don't have no, no issue with Manny. He a legend. He has done a lot for the sport of boxing. He does a lot for his people in the Philippines. So I'm not indicting him or, or criticizing him as a person. But in this instance, bro, he drug his feet. He drug his feet to make the, a fight of this magnitude. You know, if he had told them, yo, my plans, here's my plans. This is what I'm doing. They would have never put his ass in recess, bro. And we wouldn't have all this confusion and, and shit. And now, as a result, we got another barrier, bro. It's another barrier to making the fight that all the fans want to see, bro. It's another barrier. And now we got to talk. Like, this is some old, Earl, this is some old Mayweather and Pacquiao shit, bro. Just barrier upon barrier upon barrier. And then we finally get the fight once it's, once it's, once it's too late, bro. Once it's lost its luster. You know what I mean? I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like that shit. If this fight don't happen in 2022, bro, it's never going to happen. And even if it happens in 2022, bro, that was far too long for us to wait, bro. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Both of these fighters, Terrence Crawford and, um, and, and Earl Spence, they got two more fights before it's even realistic that they fight each other, bro. They do. We know Earl Spence is fighting Manny Pacquiao. Looks like Terrence Crawford is fighting Jose Zapata. Then they next fight, you, we, know, we know what Earl Spence going to do, bro. We know what the PBC going to advise him to do. You're going to go over here and get this super WBA belt, and you're going to fight Ugas. Or you're going to fight the winner of Ugas and whoever he's fighting. And then, and then we're going to try to make Undisputed because we've gotten as much leverage as we could possibly get, bro. Like, it's just, man, it's bad for boxing, bro. I don't, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit. The man should get his belt back. Um... He just should. Like, explain to me why he shouldn't down in my comment section. Explain to me why he shouldn't. And if you, if you, Terrence Crawford, bro, you just, you know, you got to try to seek out big fights, bro. I think, I, I think he just, I think he just don't care, bro. Got to start taking these people that they were. He said it's past him. He don't care about the fight no more. It's showing because he's fighting Jose Zapata, bro. So, from his side, hopefully we can get him to, like, at, at this at this chance, bro, at this time, the best we can hope for is a fucking um, Josh Taylor fight, bro. It's the best we can hope for out of him. He ain't, like, y'all, let's, let's just stop with the, 
147 pounders that are established that are stars in the sport. Top rank ain't paying for them to come over there. PBC probably won't even let them come over there at this point, bro. It's a this is a cold war between two promoters, y'all. And it's hurting the sport. It's costing us big ass fights, bro. Because they don't want to work together. And if they do want to work together, they just want all the power in the in the negotiations. They want to be the one to win, bro. Fighters be damned. That's how I see it, man. But there you have it. That's the news. WBA, they ain't reinstating Manny, bro. They not. And so as a result, it's another carrot out there for Earl Spence on the PBC side. He going he gonna to go after that, bro. He going to go after that super WBA belt if he can beat Manny Pacquiao. That's just, that's just what's going to happen. So for anybody that was holding out hope of Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence taking care of business in this fight and then fighting each other after that, no, bro. After Zapata, after Terrence Crawford knocks the shit out of Zapata, if Earl Spence is able to beat Manny Pacquiao, they're going to both have another fight before it's realistic that they fight each other, which means 2021 is out the door, bro. We're not getting it in 2021. Might happen in 2022. But y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all let your boy know, you know, what your thoughts is on this situation down in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And if you want me on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. And don't forget about our live show, Wednesday, July 14th, 7.30 Central Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. We're doing our first interview on this channel. You got Knock the F Out, Episode 2. We got Kasir Ghost and the Young Phenom coming in. He going to chop it up with your boy Knockout for a little bit. Then we're going to get to our live show after the interview. But it's going to be a fun night of boxing talk, man. Y'all be sure to tune in. I appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And with that, we out here. Peace.